Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. If you didn't know, it's that time of year again to start looking for gifts for our loved ones and friends. And some of those loved ones and friends may be gun lovers. And if that's the case and you're not a gun person, you may have a very difficult time trying to figure out what they do and do not want. There's millions of products out there and you don't know what kind of caliber or rifle or handgun or whatever they have that you need to get them for them. So I put together a list of items that I think any gun lover would love to have whether they've been shooting for two days or 20 years. So stick around, we'll take a look at some of these products. I'll also put links to them down below. Okay, so first up, we've got a mag loader. This thing is perfect to keep in a range bag, keep at your house. Anytime you need to uh, load your magazines, this thing's gonna speed up the process, make it a lot easier on your thumbs and your hands. Any gun person would love to have this. There's a lot of macho guys out there who will tell you they can do it with their thumbs all day long. Fact of the matter is, when you're at a long range day and you wanna start filling up your mags after you shoot them, this is gonna save your hands and allow you to shoot a lot more. This is a great little mag loader. Uh, it's a mag lula, the up lula mag loader. This one is for a nine millimeter up to 45 ACP. It's very easy to use. So you put it on top of your magazine, you squeeze it, push it down, let it out. You can put your next round in. So this is a great little tool for anybody that wants uh, a nice range bag piece of equipment that they'll use every time they go to the range as well as every time they're at home before they load their magazines. If they load them before they go to the range, this thing's a great tool to do so. And if it's uh, at the range and they're shooting, they're gonna have a heck of a lot easier time reloading magazines uh, to enjoy shooting more than spending their time reloading. The next thing would be a weapons light. These things are great to put on your handgun, especially for a home defense handgun to keep in a drawer. These things are wonderful to put on the front of your gun and it gives you a little finger help here to turn your light on and off. Uh, you can do it momentary, you can do it on and off. Uh, this is the Olight PL2 Mini and the great thing about this one is it's rechargeable. So it's got this magnetic uh, USB cable that sticks right on there and you put this inside your uh, laptop or a phone charger, whatever you got, and it's gonna charge this baby up. Now, once it's done, you can even leave this in a drawer. If you had a uh, home defense gun, you'd leave this right in the drawer with your home defense gun charging, maybe run it through the back. And when you pull that gun out, it's got a weapons light on it. And this is great for working around your house. If you have somebody in your house, flashlights are always great for lighting up the room. And if it's on your uh, handgun, it makes it a heck of a lot easier to manipulate. And with the old lights, they have these quick release that comes right off. So you can actually take it as a flashlight if you wanted to off of your gun, if you wanted to separate them out the two. These are great. They're well made. There's been a lot of torture testing done on these and they held up very well. The uh, quick release, the steel construction, and the uh, just the great usefulness it provides is incredible. So this is the PL Mini from Olight, uh, the Valkyrie. This is a great Olight. I also have the PL2. This is a little bit bigger and it has a little bit more lumens, so it's a little bit brighter of a light, uh, but it functions the exact same way. The only difference is this one has a strobe light function if you wanted to use it, but it still has the same quick release, same great construction. Um, it's a wonderful light to have. Uh, if you're looking for small flashlights, these things are great too. This is a rechargeable light and it uh, plugs right in just like your uh, PL2 Mini and you have a nice little flashlight if you want to keep on a keychain, super affordable. Uh, a lot of Olight products, I've been a big fan of them now that I've had some time to spend with them. They're great little flashlights. I actually have another one on my keychain. I believe it's the i3R EOS or something of that nature, but they're great flashlights to have and keep on you. Um, every gun guy always wants flashlights. So that's a number two. Next up, we've got hearing protection. These things are always great to have and keep in your range bag, and you can't have enough of them. If you bring friends with you, you need hearing protection for them as well. And these are electronic hearing protection. So the great thing about these are you put on, they, first of all, they bundle up really small. Number two is they're battery activated, and they have a microphone here that picks up the sound. So when there's no shooting going on, you can hear your people hear the people around you talking. You're not yelling at each other, trying to get a, um, information across. So when you have these on your head, when you shoot, 
it automatically looks at the decibel sound and cuts off the sound. So it's great hearing protection for the guns, but when there's non-firing going on, it also amplifies the sound so that you can hear what's going on with your buddies or somebody next to you. If there's any range orders that are going on, you can hear all those things. So this is a great pair of uh, fairly inexpensive hearing protection that everybody I know has used. These things are great. They're easy, they're battery operated with a couple double A's. It might even be a single double A. I'd have to check that again. Um, but either way, they're great. Uh, hearing protection in general is always good to keep in a range bag. So people are always looking to have hearing protection in their bag. It's easy to forget it. You show up at the range and you don't have it. It's a pain. Um, alternate to this too is even the little styrofoam pads that you put inside your ear. Those are great as well, uh, just to keep in a range bag. If you ever get to the range and you forget your hearing protection, then you've always got the other ear to go right in. Um, short of these, even any hearing protection, again, always good to keep in a bag. If you have friends, I know I've got two or three of these in my bag, uh, and I, my wife comes, the kids come, whoever's with me, I've got hearing protection for them as well. Um, it's always easy to forget, so these are a great number three item to pick up for Christmas for any gun lover. So the next thing on the list is going to be a snap cap. Snap caps are great for putting inside your weapon for training. They give you more realistic. You can put them inside your handgun, put them inside your magazines, practice reloading, those kind of things without using live ammunition. But these things are great because you can get them just about any caliber you can think of. These are nine millimeter. They come in different shapes, different sizes, uh, different colors. Uh, so you can pick and choose what you like out there. But you're always good to have it laying around the house. It's not always good to be dry firing your handgun without snap caps. And so these really protect your gun and also give you a really good training aid uh, when you're practicing in your house. So if you're doing uh, magazine changes, uh, things like that, these are great tools to have. And again, they come in all different sizes. So you can get these in uh, 9mm, 380, 45 ACP. If you've got somebody that you don't know what rounds to get, 9mm is usually a safe bet. Uh, but they've come in arrow different rounds. If they have rifles, you can get rifle rounds as well. So take a look at these, they're very, very inexpensive. These are great stocking stuffers of nothing else. And every gun lover would love to have these just for dry firing exercises and practicing. Okay, moving on, the next great thing is you can never get enough of targets. You bring these to the range and you shoot them up. Next time you go to the range, you gotta go buy more. And I specifically like these splatter targets. They make them by shoot and see. This one is called Dirty Bird. Uh, but make impacts on them so that you can see where you hit. So if you're 30 feet away from a target and you're trying to see where you're hitting, this can be very difficult unless they make these little splatter targets. So the splatter targets, when you hit it, it's gonna make a ring around so you can actually see where you hit. These things are really great for practice. Um, you can put them on and make stick on types as well. So you can take your live target and put these stickers on them. Uh, they're a little bit smaller, maybe six to eight inch diameter. And you can put them over existing targets. Once they get shot up, you just replace them with a new one. Uh, they also come with these little covers that you can put stickers over the bullet holes that are there to make it like new again and you start shooting again but it's really great to be able to see where you're shooting and these targets make it absolutely easy to do okay next up we got cleaning supplies every gun owner needs to clean their gun whether they go to the range weekly or they go to the range monthly Everybody needs to clean their gun after going to the range. And there's a lot of things that are out there to do this. There's gun oils, there's CLP, there's uh, Remington oil, Birchwood Casey. All these things are great for cleaning your weapons after. Um, along with this, you can also get Q-tips or cotton swabs, um, anything that's gonna help clean. Uh, we've got uh, these brushes, steel brushes to really get in and, and clean things up. Other things you can look at are mats. Uh, if you have a gun mat, for cleaning your weapons on top of. It makes it clean. They have these nice bottoms so it doesn't leak through and get to your surfaces. It keeps everything nice and clean. Those are always handy to have as well. You can buy a lot of these kits online. They can come in toolbox shapes with all the tools already inside it. You can get uh, smaller kits that have just the uh, cleaning brushes, uh, bore cleaning brushes, cotton swabs, all those kind of things. So you can look around. And again, I'll put some links down below of some common ones, but just about any good gun cleaning kit will have all the basics in it. And every gun person really needs to have those. And you go through them, your brushes wear out, you need new Q-tips, you need new cotton swabs, things like that. Oil always runs out. 
and it's always when you write need it the most. So um, take a look at all those things. These are great tools to have. Any gun lover would love to have any of these things. They're fairly inexpensive and they're always used. If you have any questions about any of these things or holiday gifts, please put them in the comments below. If others have other ideas, please put them in the comments below. It's only going to help everybody else. And thanks for watching and we'll talk to you again soon. Hope you all have a great holiday.